it's called Hana. And um, we're all a little disappointed he was scheduled to run um, in about three or four days. And we just had a little more swelling in an old suspensory. We decided to scan it and ultrasound it just to make sure everything was okay. And it, uh, it's torn a little bit more, so we're gonna retire him. Um, West Point's always been very good about that. He's very sound on the track, but it's disappointing. Um, so we'll probably just give him some easy time for a few weeks, wind him down, and uh, they'll find him a good home. He's a very nice horse. And racing-wise, we're very disappointed, but he'll be fine. And for the partners already, uh, you know, it, and when when you have a tear like that, what are you looking at? I mean, what's the chance? I mean, by, by trying to press forward, you know, yeah, you're only going to damage it more. And the ultrasound is new. In the last the last 15 to 20 years, it can give you a very good gauge on the kind of damage you're doing week to week, really. We stress the animals, you know, every week when we want run them, and the most of them hold up just fine. And we can keep a good eye on what's going on uh, with their tendons and bones. And he is very sound today. He galloped yesterday morning very, very well. The riders are very happy with him. But we know just by some swelling here and there, we're not doing great, and the ultrasound confirmed it. So it is disappointing racing-wise, but he'll be fine. He's a very nice horse, and they'll find him a very good home. It's great with technology, and years ago, we, we, you know, we may not have known this kind of going into it. So it For uh, sure, in the last two or three years, the technology has gotten very, very good. To win for wow. a West Point horse, first time out. Yeah, right, because usually everybody's got their two months. Andrew's horses aren't starving down there, that's for sure. <laughs>